Hi Langley Leopards, how are you? This is Mrs. McKay again, and today we're going to talk about fractions with, I did this list. with Taylor and Brayden. Taylor and Brayden, say hi. Hi, my tooth is loose. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we're going to talk about fractions, and we're going to use clementine oranges to talk about fractions. Taylor was telling me she wanted oranges with her lunch. So, once you peel them, like I've already done, then you get to divide them into sections, right? And okay. I want two oranges Shh. for lunch. Shh. Let me teach. Okay. okay mommy. So I took my orange like this and I broke it into two pieces so far. See? One, two. So that gives us what? Halves, right? Because when we have two whole pieces, okay? So if I'm going to give Taylor, put it. Thank you. Brayden, yeah. teaching. Brayden, focus. So if I give her one half, which would have been bigger, one whole orange or one half? Yes, one whole orange. One half is smaller than one whole. Now, let's try something else. We're going to keep our halves here. Okay, here, let's set this one off to the side for a second. Don't mess with it, though, because I need it. Okay, so we had one half oranges, right? Now we're going to take and make half again with our other orange. And then we're going to take the halves. But I want to see us. Uh, you can see us. Hold on. Okay. So we have our half of orange because remember I broke it into halves. And then I took that half and I broke that into fourths. Okay, so mommy. let's compare halves with fourths. Here's one half. Yeah. Here's one half. Here's one fourth. Which is bigger? One half or one fourth? Which one's bigger? Taylor, which one's bigger? Um, Help us out. One. One half or one fourth? Which one's bigger? One half. One half. This one's the bigger one. That's our one half. So we're going to keep our one half. Keep our one fourth. So, and now we're going to take our other one-fourth. What about the one in the hole? Hold on. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to divide this into fourths and then divide it one more time, which would be eighths, okay? Because with this orange, there were eight slices. So if I have one-half, one-fourth, one-eighth, how would we put those in order? Which one would be the biggest? One half, one fourth, or one eighth? If you were really hungry, which would you rather eat? One half, one fourth, or one eighth? One half. So that's the bigger one, right? Yes. Okay. So we know that's, but you're, this time you're just a little bit hungry. You're not, you're not starving, but yes, you want some orange. So you don't want a whole half. What would be the next smallest? This one. Which is our... A fourth. A fourth. So, but you really, you're not hungry at all, but you want to taste it to make sure it's sweet. So which would you do? What would be the eighth? smallest? This one? The Remember? eighth. The eighth, right, Brayden? Yeah. Okay. So to put them in descending order, going down, you're starting with the biggest to go to the smallest. One half, one fourth, one eighth, right? Right. And that's so cool because they're oranges, and I'll be right back because I have to go through it. No, wait. Okay. All right, so we are going to clean up our mess. That's just a little small lesson with fractions. Take a look around you and see what fractions you have. Are you cutting fruit up too? Are you dividing oranges? Are you cutting apples to share with your friends? Are you baking a cake, baking brownies, making pizza, ordering pizza? Sometimes you have to cut it extra to get more slices, right? But once you put more slices in it, those, slice, those slices are smaller, right? So the more slices you have, like our eighth instead of our half, the smaller those pieces are, right? So let's keep that in mind. Take a look and enjoy this time that you can look for fractions in your real life at home. Thank you. Have a fabulous day, and I'll see you again soon. Bye! Bye! Bye.